So you want to learn how to print with flexible material. I'll give you a bit of a hand. <laughs> Hey John for the hot end. Flexible materials, very popular lately. Thought I'd give you a few of my tips for how to print with flexible material. These are the two commonly used flexible materials, TPE and TPU. And these are the suggested settings from Wikipedia. Uh, I'll show you my settings in a sec. What you need is, first of all, the right type of extruder to print flexibles. Bowden's, not so good. Or if you've got an extruder like this, a direct drive extruder like this, you'll see that there are spaces between the top and the bottom. Now, when you load the flexible filament, in this case it's TPU, into the extruder, you'll see at the top of the extruder there's a gap and the filament can come through there. It's not under any pressure at that point but when you put it through the drive gear it then comes out the bottom before it heads on out to your hot end and what can happen because you're putting pressure on your hot end via the drive of the extruder the filament will take the least uh, sorry the path of least resistance and in this case, it'll squirt out the side of the extruder or wrap itself around the gear and do all sorts of nasty stuff. You can print uh, pieces, inserts to go into an extruder to close out those gaps so it can't push out. Or you can use a purpose-built extruder that has a top and bottom already built in. There's a few of these around. Don't look for this one though, because they don't make that one anymore. Next tip is make sure your bed is perfectly clean. I use a plain glass bed, a plain glass bed, and I clean it with alcohol. This is very, very important. So clean that down, level your bed of course, and now you're getting into the settings that I use. The extrusion multiplier has to be lifted. I'm not exactly sure why, but I run it at this 120, and that seems to work well pushing that flexible material through your extruder and your hot end. Now I'm printing on that nice clean glass, and this is actual speed of what I do for the first layer. It needs to go really slow, maybe a bit faster than that, but slow and as you can see it sticks like the proverbial to the proverbial blanket and it's difficult to remove but it does come off there we go and what you can see here is a uh, Lord of the Rings tray that I found on Thingiverse somewhere and the advantage of the glass look at that nice glossy finish on the bottom it looks terrific it shines it looks really great if you need that sort of finish on the bottom of your print. It's nice and flexible. I think this was printed at one or two um, perimeters. And I use this uh, little tray for throwing my car keys in. So it doesn't clunk and rattle because it's nice and soft and pliable. And you can even still see detail coming up on the uh, ring outside there. Another way you can do it if you don't have a plain glass bed is just use normal, everyday, common packing tape. Now this tip was given to me by the person that actually makes the filament, which is uh, Ararum here in Australia. And there's something to do with the chemical bond between normal, everyday packing tape and TPU that it sticks to this stuff just as well as clean glass. Now, laying it out on the bed can be tricky, but there we go. So we're printing again, this time something different with black TPU, and again, normal speed for that first layer. Now this, 
item that it's printing is probably one of the most useful things you can print out of TPU. This is the actual speed that I print at. Now some people print faster than this but I don't see any need for that. This is quite fast enough. And that bed is cold. Absolutely no heating required on your print bed. That's important. It sticks better when it's cold rather than warm. Again, this was told to me by the person that makes the filament. So no heated bed and this is how well it sticks to the tape. You'll see there's a bit of a brim on the print just to make sure. And this is a tyre for all you radio control car people out there. This tyre is uh, nice and soft. You'll see that, uh, yep, I can squish it really, really well. And for a radio control car, absolutely perfect. But the problem with using the tape is that it's a bugger to try and get off once you've used it. So yeah, just be aware of that. And then you've got to remove the glue that it leaves behind. Something else that you can print is uh, insoles and thongs and shoes and what have you, flip-flops or whatever you want to call them. It's a fairly desperate way of printing anything. Um, takes a long time and a lot of filament and yeah, I don't see the point. But anyway, that's it. Alrighty, see you next time.